Oh, nano bonjour. Je vous conseille de vous dire que vous avez des gens qui ont été en train de se faire. Je vous conseille de vous dire que vous My spirit name is Whistling Eagle Man. The name that was given to me at birth was uh, Niall Johnston. I'm from the uh, Chippewas and Awash uh, First Nations, formerly known as Cape Croker First Nations, also known as the Neashikniming, which is the uh, point of land surrounded by water. People like to say I'm a visual artist, but I, I always like to say I'm more of a visual storyteller. Art is, is such a big part of my life. You know, it was, it was really amazing to have a place like Seventh Generation Image Makers where there were like-minded youth you know, we're coming together, we're all trying to help each other and really push each other to better not only ourselves, but our communities and our families. You know, I've been with Seven Generation now for about, must be almost going on five years, collaborating with my cousin, Odin Amut, he's Zach like Weber. I came in as a trainee and then, you know, worked on a few murals, a couple other workshops, and then now, you know, I'm a lead, you know, I'm considered what they call a lead artist. And I do a lot of uh, workshop facilitation, not only within painting, but also cultural awareness, uh, like uh, cultural 101, Anishinaabe 101, or whatever you want to call that, as well as uh, traditional storytelling as well. We even have, uh, I keep telling the story because I'm much just back. Odinama, Dishnikaz, Nizinke Dodem. My name is Turning Wind. I'm from the Turtle Clan. My European name is Izak. I'm a painter, graffiti artist father, community member, community helper. We do a lot of work within the community for a native child, trying to support alternative methods of life skill programming, teachings, you know. All the work that we have been doing like the last five years, it's like generated from out of our own uh, passions, basically. I mean, like I've been painting my whole life, even getting into trouble with taking it from paper onto canvas, onto the street and, and back and forth. So after learning of like the 7th Gen uh, Image Makers program, basically just walking in there, I was like, well, you know, I, I need some materials to make art. Can you help me out? This is my art, this is what I'm doing. Maybe we can collaborate because you give to me and I can give back as well. So that in particular right now that has happened with 7th Gen where we were able to, you know, utilize a lot of their, their contacts but at the same time, give back all this knowledge and skills, you know, either within like visual storytelling or the techniques uh, as in the, the spray paint, the mural art. But right now it's like I have the, the chance to, to, to share that with other youth as well. Is she, is she the, the model? She's the, the muse. Or, or the, muse, the muse, the inspiration yes. here. Yes. Okay. My everything. <laughs> you know, we have done summer programs where we have Aboriginal youth, mainly in urban settings, to come in either to the to the youth drop-in or actually just do a call-out, you know, for the summers. I like it a lot that the sense of community is there for amongst artists, you know. It can be hard, you know, just to, to, fi to find your own way and to find a, a good place to start. So if there's other people around that can guide you, you know, I think that that could be valuable to our uh, community's youth and even our, you know, like our peers as well. I love my job. I've been here like four doors open in 2015 on a rooftop in a garden. 